moved to Florida, and now God touched you up. Oh, she got shocked or something. What do you think of this, sister? God bless you. Man, she got shocked. Oh, yes. We're going to have some fun today, aren't we, folks? Oh, yes. Uh, here we are with Peter Popoff Ministries, uh, the website for Peter Popoff Ministries, popoff.org, and we're on the testimonials page, because testimonials will prove anything. So, uh, yes, there we are. Basically, you have a load of stories. Uh, let's call them what they are. Stories, rare occasions where something good happens. Oh, oh, there's only a few of them. Oh, uh, um, whoopsie-daisy. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. Five events from thousands of people who give money to Peter Popoff, and they end up getting some money. I don't know, maybe a relative died and they get some money, maybe they get some money from selling their house, or whatever, in whatever occasion, a few people, a few dozen people, out of the thousands of followers of Peter Popoff, end up with something good happening. You know, these are desperate people sending their last thousand dollars to Peter Popoff because they think he speaks for God. And you know, here's a few stories. I'll link this website below. I don't recommend you uh, go there without a proxy. But basically, this prick here, this useless rambling prick, carries out faith healing and gets poor old people like this, clearly wearing a wig, but poor people like this to go along, give all of their money, and then of course, God will listen to you because you have sent money to the Peter Popoff Ministries. Well, um, people united for Christ? More like people united in desperation around a known con man. Uh, you may want to look up the video where James Randi debunked him back in the 1980s, and he spoke about that time and time again. Now, basically, Peter Popoff has been conning people for many, many years, since the 1980s at least, and he has become a pro, selling miracle water, and where you don't want to buy the miracle water, you can get it free. And then because they've got your details, they'll keep on hounding you, hounding you, hounding you for donations. Give your donations because you care for Jesus Christ. Give your donations because Jesus wants your loyalty. You give money to Jesus and he will give it back to you tenfold. And so on and so forth. That's what they do. They get desperate people in their audiences, and they hire a few actors, by the way. People who get healed time and time again. They stand up after using a, I don't know, a stick, or a Zimmer frame, you know, a walker. Or maybe they've been in a wheelchair and are like, Hallelujah! Look what Jesus has done! And it's all poop. And people who give a $1,000, their last $1,000 to Peter Popoff Ministries. And a few of them, maybe a few dozen out of thousands upon thousands, end up with a bit of luck. Oh, and where does the money go you, you, don you donate? Towards Peter Popoff and, of course, towards his outreach program. An excuse... For you to give more money as he spreads the word of Christ. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> so there's outreach in America going around. In the Ukraine. In the Russia. In China. In Nigeria. In others. Okay. Still outreach. Give your money because he can help <laughs> support people in other nations. Yeah, <laughs> they then they send their missionaries to Muslim republics, uh, Muslim republics, Siberia, and uh, established new churches there. So uh, that's about the size of their efforts. Going to Muslim 
uh, republics and Siberia. Uh, yeah, wonderful. Nice work. Going over to places and getting people to believe in you. And of course, your American supporters are encouraged to give even more money. And of course, not everyone in those countries you go to are poor, are they? No. And do you actually provide serious proof that you go over there and spend the money you make, your ministry makes, over in these countries which haven't yet heard the word of Christ? Hmm? I don't think so. What's this? See Peter Popoff. I'd rather not. And he does all these meetings around the country where people meet like this. He has a few of his actors go there. I don't know who the actors are. I haven't found out who his actors are and act like they're healed. Oh, I had good news. Yeah, I gave a thousand dollars to the uh, United, uh, the People United for Christ uh, Ministry, otherwise known as Peter Popoff Ministries. And because of my effort, and because of the miracle water I received, I ended up getting a new house. I, I swear, you know, th there are some people in the world who get kicked to death for their actions. Some people might deserve it more than others. I'm just saying. During the 1980s, I entered a world that I found filled with fantasy and rife with abuse. The world of faith healing. I developed a special interest in a television evangelist named Peter Popoff. And God told me, he said, you smite that cancer with your fist. At the time, Popoff was pulling in nearly four million dollars a year, healing people on his miracle crusades. I tell you, from now on, you're going to have a soul of victory in your heart. Amen. To his followers, Popoff seemed to have divine powers. Alice, is it Gould? Alice Gould? He knew their names. Stand up, Alice as well as the afflictions they'd come to cure. God is touching that thyroid condition right now. God is touching your nerves right now. God is touching your eyes. Just lift up your hands, get ready, here it comes. He also knew the personal details of their lives. Hear good news from Charles before everything is over. I'll tell you, he's gonna be completely delivered because of your prayers, because of your faith. Here it comes, complete healing in Jesus. Ooh, mighty name right now, right now, right now, amen. It's all right to praise the Lord. I suspected that Popoff's revelations were other than divine. The radio scanner we brought to the hall picked up a decidedly worldly source. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Popoff was being prompted by his wife through a wireless earpiece. John? Do you leave Johnson? She'd gotten her information from prayer cards filled out by the faithful before the show began to arrange for another broadcast of the Miracle Crusade on The Tonight Show. But this time, the wireless prompting was included. For a good while after that, he was unable to carry on with his work as a miracle preacher. But in recent years, he has come back. Come back as strong as ever with his miracle crusade across America and indeed several other nations. Spreading the word of Jesus. And remember, kids, God can't do it alone. Lord, let this anointing and power flow through our sister now. He claims he's a healer, that the power of God flows through him and can cure whatever ails you. Brand new! He's the televangelist Peter Popoff, appearing on infomercials seen across the country. He claims he can perform miracles. What happened to the pain? It's gone. And Popoff doesn't just heal your body, he says... He can heal your wallet, too. I'll never be broke another day in my life. <laughs> Say it again. But this isn't the first time Popoff's been on television. Two decades ago, on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, 
Popoff was exposed as a fraud. And we picked up something interesting. But the expose was carried out by this man, well-known skeptic James Randi. Popoff claimed God spoke directly to him, and he seemed to know everything about the people attending his crusades, including their health problems. Burning this arthritis right out of your body. But Randy took a scanner to some of Popoff's crusades and picked up radio transmissions. Turns out, the voice Popoff heard wasn't God's, but his wife's. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. You see, Popoff's wife, Elizabeth, had previously gotten personal information from people in the audience and then fed it to her husband electronically through a tiny earpiece. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Dean, Jody Dean. No, she should be right there on your right side. Okay, she was at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson, I can see the angels of God all around your house. Yes. That's disturbing when you see it. After the scam was exposed, Popoff dropped out of sight and declared bankruptcy in 1987. I'm gonna throw this, Walker. But that was then, and this is now. Woo! Popoff is back. And business is better than ever. He operates out of this giant facility east of Los Angeles. According to tax returns, Popoff's ministry took in more than $23 million in 2005. He paid himself more than $600,000. He paid about $600,000 more to his wife and two kids. He drives this $100,000 Porsche, and he lives in this home worth $2.1 million. Where does all the money for this lavish lifestyle come from? Well, people who watch pop-off shows are encouraged to send away for his free Miracle Spring Water. And that's why I want you to have the Miracle Spring Water. But is it really free? Our Miracle Water came with what pop-off calls a bag of sacred Dead Sea salt. I'm supposed to sprinkle it over a check made out to pop off for $27. It's really just a tiny package of salt that you would get at a deli or fast food restaurant. As for the miracle water, I'm supposed to drink it, wait five days, and I'll be blessed with riches. Of course, I'm supposed to send pop off another check. You see, it's not the water that releases the power. It's your obedience to the instructions of the prophet of God. Kathy Rowe and her disabled husband, Donald, fell for pop off's pitch. Surely God would see our pain and bless us. They borrowed thousands of dollars from relatives, saying they were going to pay their bills. But instead, they sent it to pop off, $4,500 in all. I just look back on it and think, you know, I'm pretty stupid person. We wanted to ask Popoff a few questions. Reverend Popoff? Yes. Matt Mahar with Inside Edition. Could I ask you a few questions about your ministry? Hey, you're Would squeezing you, me. Sorry. How can you justify taking all of this money from people that are desperate? Can you just answer us one question? Can you just move away, please? Can, you want, would you talk to us later, please? No. James Randi says he's not surprised that Popoff is back. Flim flam is his profession. That's what he does best. He's very good at it, and naturally he's going to go back to it. Hallelujah! Kathy Rowe, the lady you met, says she only stopped sending Popoff money two months ago when she had no money left for food. She says she now feels that she was brainwashed by watching Popoff on television. One thing's for sure. To put too much faith in any leader is to give up one's own power. Leaders are just guideposts. We have to make our own decisions for ourselves. Good.